Guys, back here for another review. Big Tom. And I'm Superman. It sure is. And I'm today, I'm the Hulk Smash. Yeah, it's New Year's Eve, the final day of 2013. So uh, we hope you've got your party boots on and your glad rags on and uh, be giving it a good one tonight. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Today we're going to be doing a New Year special, so we're going to be doing a Tefan GT update regarding the SS and the clones. Um, and also we're going to be doing best UK vendors and all the best Yeah, it's sort of like our, our best things of the yeah. year and what we've enjoyed doing and uh, things like that. Um, but as Tom said, um, we've got something quite cool. Um, I contacted a wicked company in the UK called Vape Geek, the lovely Natasha and Rob, as I saw they had the Typhoon GT clones in stock. And uh, they assured me it was 100% stainless steel, and they weren't fibbing, it is 100% yeah. stainless steel. So we finally got a decent clone, so we can ignore that last review where yeah. I was slightly pissed off <laughs> um, about the chrome plate of brass. And this is a stainless steel version, and um, it's it's £30 or 30 99 I think. £30.99 99. or something like that, because Tom's just bought one, I bought one last yeah. week. Well, and. Um, it's bang on. It's, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> almost bang on. Um, there is one small little gripe I have with it, but it's not damaging. It, it can be sorted. Mm. Um, so it looks exactly the same. It's got great flavour, um, but it's very, very, a very tight draw yeah. with it. Um, and I've seen a few people actually mention about they've had a very tight draw. This is the H Cigar version, by the way. Yeah. Um, SS deck for the win. <laughs> um, but. Um, what it is, is the air tube that's in it restricts the airflow. So mm. all I have done is basically popped out the uh, air tube and now it's vaping like mm. a champion. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, so it's, it's perfect. It, the flavour is awesome. Works exactly the same as Dean said. Just took out the air tube and it's bang on. Yeah, really nice flavour and really good. And really good deal. I mean, I know you can get the thingy of fast tech and they're now doing the SS bases and I mean mm. I've even got an SS base on the way which is a bonus you know and I'll check that out and when I get that we'll do a little video about the SS base because some people have received their upgrade SS base from fast tech and it's still fucking brass so <laughs> unfortunate for them but the SS base is apparently being shipped we'll do a little update but the H cigar version which is on Vape Greek's website I will put the uh, website above my head right there so uh, they do do a few bits and pieces on there they've got the K Fun clone uh, the K Fun 3.1 ES yeah. H Cigar 1.1 clone they've got the Origin mod on there they've got the Hammer um, they've also got the Nemesis yeah. they've got um, a couple of other bits and pieces uh, the uh, Aqua I think yeah, they're going to be getting soon on there but these are all the H Cigar versions these are all the 1.1 clones that everybody raves about H Cigar so uh, go onto the website and get yourself a little uh, something off there these are really good clones or re and, and really good devices and that is whether it be yeah, a clone yeah. or not they're really great so um instead of waiting 15 years from first day yeah a i mean you, you, you spend a little bit more cash but it's to your door you have a vendor you can approach if there are any issues with it as well which is always great mm. you know in case you do get it and you know sometimes with these clones because they are so cheap because they are off the factory line and yeah. manufactured so quick and so many of them you may get a little bit of an issue with one um, Rob and Natasha were really great on Vape Greek um, when I emailed them they literally got back to me within an hour and told me about it, it was an SS base which was lovely then um, they shipped it out over Christmas and let me know when they could ship it out Rob even tried to get it to me on Christmas Eve but unfortunately apparently his silly bastards at the post office weren't working that day they was out drinking <laughs> I thought I saw Thor and Iron Man out there somewhere. <laughs> if you see them, tell them I'm looking for them. Anyway, yeah. but um, Natasha and Rob, really great guys. Um, they get back to you straight away. Um, and there is a vendor there you can approach if you have anything wrong with your yeah. mod or your atomizer, which is great. And this Typhoon GT clone is fantastic. Mm. Apart from that little air tube in it that restricts the draw, yeah. I mean, as it comes out of the box, it was really like, 
it was like that. So what I did, first of all, I was like, oh, fuck, here we go again. Um, <laughs> but I took it apart a bit. I thought, no, give it a chance. Let's have a look at it. Let's see what's wrong. Maybe something's blocking it. So I took the air tube out um, and blew through the base, and um, there was airflow, a nice amount of airflow. I put the tube back in, but I didn't push it down all the way to the bottom. I think that might have been what's happened on some of the cases. Mm -hmm. It's pushed right down at the bottom, and therefore it's blocking the, uh, the airflow. Yeah. I pulled it out a little bit. It improved the draw a little bit. Uh, but it was still like sucking a lemon for a golf go, uh, garden hose. So for a golf, <laughs> a, golf. a golf ball for a garden hose. One of them. Um, but yeah. But then I just thought, fuck it. I took the tube out completely. Uh, Tom, exactly Tom has wicked it today, and uh, it's working fine, and it's really nice. It's got a good flavour. It's got a good vapor production. The airflow is perfect without that air tube in it. So. Um, there you go, job done. No, not worth getting back in contact with, oh, it's a bit tight and bollocks like that. Just it's pull it up. Just pull it up. out. Um, you can do it with a pair of needle nose pliers. Um, we'll show you on a close up in a bit. Um, but yeah, it's a nice, nice little atomizer. And it is 30 quid. I know it's like 12, 13 quid on Fast Tech, but if there is something wrong with it, you've got to send it back to Fast Tech. And more than likely, people don't. They just go bollocks. Yeah, just wipe my mouth for 12 quid and throw it away. But for 30 quid, You've got a great atomizer. Um, it's a very, very good clone. It, um, it looks bang on. Um, it vapes really nice. The flavour is lovely. And plus, any slight issue you might have, you've got a vendor there that you can contact, and they are more than happy to help you. Um, loads of people are. Uh, they help lots of people out. Loads of people I know have, have praised her vape group uh, quite a lot. So uh, yeah, you know, quite happy with it. Yeah, it? really, really happy with it. Um, you can't, you can't, can't go wrong doing it at all. It's a um, little thing. It's no worrying about it. SS deck for the win. Yeah. Um, so what else we're going to do? We're going to do um, vendors, top vendors, top juice. Who we're going to do the best for 2013. Yeah. You know, but, before we do that, what we'll do is we'll go down to the table now. Yeah. We'll let you have a look at this H cigar version of the Typhoon GT. We'll let you have a look all the way around. The, we'll show you the stainless steel deck for the win. Um, show you how to take out that air tube. And um, we're not going to wick it or anything like that. We've got a Typhoon GT um, video, a few videos back. So uh, not the one where I'm ranting and raving about Fast Tech. We'll ignore that review now because, you know, SS bases are starting to turn up and uh, you can get these off Vape Greek. And, yeah. and think of vape Greek, vape, vape geek, geek, excuse me. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so we're just going to have a little bit of a look at it, let you look what you get in the box with it, and uh, lovely. All right, so we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> so, here you have your Typhoon GT clone. Um, I got this one from uh, Vape Geek. Um, as you can see, the box is uh, just like the genuine Typhoon. Even has the registered trademark symbol next to the Typhoon. Some people were saying they didn't have one. Some people were saying they was getting one. This one does. This is the H Cigar version. So we take it out and you'll see a little bag of spares, which is always nice. You get some silica wick, some O-rings. You even get a spare air tube, which I believe is a smaller air tube. I believe this is meant to be the uh, one mil sort of tight draw one. But uh, this is definitely not needed in this clone, and I'll get to that in a minute. So I'll take my Typhon out. Uh, as you can see, it is a uh, bang on to the genuine one. It's a, a really nice copy, a really nice clone. Um, removable drip tip, has the Typhon uh, logo on the drip tip there. Really good, really nice and snug. The threads on this are really nice as well. No crunching, no problems doing it up or undoing it. Really cool, yeah, happy with that. Threads on the combi, plexiglass. Really nice again, not a problem there, nice and smooth. There we go, as you can see, no crunching, no problems, no uh, issues with that. And um, here you have your base and your deck. It's got the Typhoon GT logo on the uh, deck there, and uh, there's no gaps. Some have said there's some gaps between their T and their A or their U and their N, but none here. It's uh, exactly the same as the uh, genuine one. Take off the top of the deck. Hey, and we have stainless steel. Look at that. Lovely. So uh, we'll remove this and you can see there, full stainless steel. Absolutely fantastic. But um, here's the problem I did have with this clone. Um, it's not a major issue because it can be sorted, but it's the same on both the clones that Tom and I got. We've got two of these um, and both are the eight cigar ones. Um, basically, 
it was a really tight draw, um, even with the big airflow um, pole in there. Now, what I did is I just took this out. I mean, at first I tested it and thought, well, maybe that's pushed down too far and hitting the bottom of the base unit and therefore restricting the airflow. So I did pull it out just a little bit. I took some needle nose pliers and just pulled it out a fraction and it was still quite tight. It was better, but it was still quite tight. So uh, I eventually just took the thing out and now it has a really nice draw. Um, if I blow through it like that, you'll hear that it's got a nice amount of airflow. So um, even though we do get a spare air tube in here, if I can just get it out of the bag, it's actually a, a smaller air tube than the uh, one that comes in it. It's, so it'll be an even tighter draw with that. So uh, for me, that's pretty useless that, but you know, they do give you a spare one. Why not? That's pretty cool. But the one that comes in it, which is probably the 1.2mm, um, does restrict the airflow a lot. So you're better off, personally, we were better off taking that out and just having it like so. And the airflow is uh, really cool. It's not a problem. Um, when we put this little section on, which is just your cup, so basically when you're wicking, that's nice. It does have a little stop. Um, unlike the fast tick one on mine that I got, that I could, it would just come out really easy. This one does have a little click to stop, um, which is a lot better. So, uh, you know, that's cool. This is a, such a better clone. It is uh, really, really good. It really does the, uh, does the job. Um, and we've whipped these a few times. We've tried different juices with them. And there's a really good flavour and really good vapour production. Uh, 23 mil, just like the genuine Typhon. Looks the part, vapes the part. Well done, uh, Vape Geek, for getting this to me. Great customer service there, and all for the luxury price of about 33 or 34 pound landed. So uh, you can't be uh, too wrong getting yourselves one of these. So this is a really good clone. Uh, it's a really great clone of definitely one of my favorite atomizers. Uh, yeah, the Typhon GT clone, the H Cigar version from uh, Vape Geek. Lovely job. So as you can see, the Typhon, spot on. Great, easy to work, you know, SS base. What more can we ask for now? Brilliant. Yeah, it's a cracking clone. Uh, like I said, out of the box when we got it, the drawer was quite tight, extremely tight. Um, take that air tube out if, if you're not into a tight drawer. I mean, I don't know. I mean, both of ours did have a tight drawer, a really mm -hmm. tight drawer, and I've seen a few other people on the forum saying theirs was a tight drawer. But if you take that air tube out, if yours is tight, then it works bang on, it's really good. And like I said before, there is a vendor there. Um, if you're in the UK, there is a vendor there. You can get in contact with any issues whatsoever. Natasha and Rob, Vape Geek, really nice people. Um, and uh, bend over backwards yeah, to uh, help you out. So uh, yeah, for the money, I mean, it's fantastic. I'm a big fan of the genuine one, but what's not to like if there's a 1-1 clone out there? Saves you a good 80 quid, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And um, there's, there's nothing wrong with it, which is great. There's no flaky chrome, there's no brass, there's, there's, there's no waiting for an update or um, SS brass to come in the post. Um, and for £30, you could do a lot worse. Do you know what I mean? It's the same price as like a, a Fogger V3 or something like that. So yeah. uh, do the math. Do you know what I mean? Go get one of these. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's a nice little update, of obviously, of the brass bit decks. Now we've got the SS decks. Uh, now we're going to do the best of 2013. We're going to have a section where we do the Safe of Vapors best of 2013. And we're also going to do vendors and juices um, and everything like that so let's go with juices 2013 well we all know what mine is <laughs> we all know what mine is and I stand by it for me for my palette best juice for me 2013 is definitely vaping kings monkey jizz or juice as I say in front of the kids <laughs> Um, it's, it's absolutely for me. It's absolutely stunning. I love the stuff so much. I could fucking bathe in it <laughs> Not that it'd be very good for my skin, but still I do love it. What about you? For me I do love Billy's ranges the monkey juice is best But the one of the ones that I did like what we did review was the spider venom yeah, yeah, Vape Spider Venom, Spider -Venom. Venom. Well, was one of, one of the best for Yeah, us, it was so. like them sort of atomic fireball, wasn't it? The, yeah. uh, that was a really nice juice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Lovely. Well, uh, what about best mod? Ooh, maybe we've got it in hand. The copper D the DNA's by uh, Soul Vapor Baby. Um, I've now got a new one. I bought myself a little extra one. 
because uh, I'm a greedy bastard. <laughs> this is the old rusty version of the uh, DNAs by Soul Vapor Baby. There's the copper DNA there, which we did review. This is the old rusty, named after a good friend of mine, Russell Ord, um, who does the campaign for vaping uh, in pubs. Um, yeah, and it's, it's just basically a, it's a different finish. I know, I know, is he going to say, well, he bought one in just a different finish, but there's loads of people out there with a different finish on a Nemesis or a Chi or something like that. But uh, this is my go-to mod. I absolutely love it. Um, looks fantastic with a rose yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, got a rose uh, today. Um, it looks we, good with a <laughs> Looks good with a tape fan on. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it's got to be for me. What about you? Um, and the Nemi as well. And the Nemi. Yeah, the Nemis are nice. I love, I love a Nemi. Of course, I've got a brass Nemesis and a polished Nemesis. They are a fantastic mod. They really did sort of change the way uh, people looked at mechanicals. Um, and obviously now you've got the clones, which are very, yeah. very good as well, so more people can get their hands on it. Um, yeah. So that's if we've great. said mechanical, that's definitely... Definitely the best mechanical. That's yeah. definitely the best. Um, this is definitely the best variable vo voltage. Uh, variable wattage. Sorry, the DNA twenty. Yeah. So Soul Vapor Baby. Yeah, good man. Well done, Nigel. Okay, best uh, rebuildable atomizer. <sighs> wow. Well, you like the Tafun. I like the Tafun. Mm. Tafun for me, it's it's such an easy wick. Do you know what I mean? It really is. Uh, you have a, a couple of bits you need to do to stop it from sort of leaking and things like that. But once you've nailed that, mm. and it's just a little bit of silica on top of your uh, of, of, on your coil, and it, it sorts it all out. Mm. But it looks great, it tastes great, and it's so quick and easy it's to deal with. So simple, isn't it? Yeah. Also, if you have a little bit of it, something goes wrong with your coil, if you haven't coiled it bang on, you can easily just adjust that coil and not waste any of your juice, like you would do with a K-Fun or something like that. I do love we a K-Fun. Like we do love a K-Fun. But it's a lot more hassle at a cave fun. Not that it's massive, but it's you want something that's just bosh, don't mm. you? You know, um, for flavour as well. Though I've got to say this in my hand at the moment: the rose. The rose. Not the easiest thing to wick mm. in the world. I mean, it's taken me a few goes this morning. Oh, there's a lot of swearing going on in my house, um, <laughs> but still. The look of this device and the uh, flavour on this is mm. fucking outstanding. <laughs> um, I'll be reviewing this uh, early on in the new year, probably next week or something. I'll, I need to spend some time with it. I need to be able to get better at wicking it before I do it in front of a camera with the hands. But, uh, <laughs> it's a really nice atomizer. But my top one for 2013 for me is the Typhoon GT. Um, I, I thought that was a great atomizer. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, best stripper. Best dripper. <laughs> you, don't, you don't do drippers. I'm not bothered by drippers. I'm one. I'm lazy bastard. Do you know what I mean? I like to have my tank filled. I like to vape throughout the day. I don't want to keep. I can't, I don't yeah. I've got too many kids around me in my house. I've got too much <laughs> stuff going on at work. I haven't got the fucking time. You know. So uh, you're more than likely to take over. Um, dripper for me. We did. I did really like the cyclone. I got the cyclone, but probably um, I liked the trident. Good job. The Trident, the the Grand Vapor original, because we had the clone, the clone wasn't the best. Yeah. But the Dripper, the original one, the look of it and the vape, because obviously dual, quad, that's got to be the best for me. Grand yeah. Vapor Trident, I'll give that for that. Okay. Best vendor? Ooh. Fast Tech. <laughs> Fast Tech. Best vendor? I like. And and, this, and and because I chat to him a lot as well, um, I like I like Kerno vapes. I really do. Um, he sells clones and things like that. And but he's a really cool guy. Um, yeah, he sends us stuff and things. And I know oh, well, because he sends you stuff. Yeah. I love him, um, but that's not just that. I can sit up all night and chat to Gary. Do you know what I mean? He's uh, got a very similar mindset as, as I have mm. as well. But he's always one. If there's something wrong. He, he, he sorts yeah, it straight away. away. No yeah. questions asked. He doesn't want proof or anything like that. You say, this isn't working well. And, and for me, well, well, I don't know if he'll do it for everybody because I chat to him quite a lot. He's a good pal of mine. But for me, he'll, it's like um, he'll send me something before I've managed to send the other one back. And, and that was that was really cool. You don't get that a lot. Oh, could you just send this one back to me once you've got it, Damien? And that's really nice. Yeah. But, He's always updating, he's always trying to get new stuff that people are interested yeah, in. Very up to um, he understands that people can't afford all the high ends, so he tries to source the clones of the high ends so people can get hold of them and use them. If something's not up to his standards or he doesn't like it, he won't have it. Mm. Um, and, and he's really good. I like Kerno Vapes. And this is Gary does it all on his own, he doesn't have a team. Since it all on itself, I know for a fact I spoke to him as much as Damien, where it's 12 hour shifts on nights and does vaping 24 7. Yeah. 
anything that you want to speak to, whether he's at work or whatnot, he's a top bloke. So, Kerno Vips, awesome. Yeah, yep. um, yeah. So, uh, anybody else? I mean, um, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot like we we really enjoyed Vape Geek. They, Vape Geek. They were yeah, they were great. Before. I mean, I've only just I've only just kind of got in contact with Vape Geek, but um, the, the customer service, the emails that I got back was very fast, very quick. Um, really happy to help. Um, you know, and they, they were cool as well. So I, hopefully I'll be doing so I'll be buying some more stuff off yeah. them in the new year. The too, best yeah. thing for me personally with, regarding vendors, you've obviously got like Cloud9, you biggest, and they're massive. Yeah. But they work as a team. That I'll, I prefer these individual people that are actually trying to help the vendors. Yeah, like the indie ones, so, yeah. not independent. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's it's pretty cool. You know, um, there are some obviously some great. I mean, at, at Mommy Honey, they have some great stuff and they they're very helpful and all that and uh, and they do some brilliant stuff. But for the one to one service you get these little indie guys these little ones you know I mean they're mm. popping up more and more sourcing these products because they know people want to get hold of them you know there's, there's quite a few of them popping yeah. up now you know what I mean getting the clones in and, and making sure everyone what, what guys would you like to get what like would you like to try mm. and actually asking the public on the forums or on Facebook or something like that what these people are interested in yeah. and then sourcing them for the people you know which is not for the people uh, <laughs> sounded funny <laughs> Guy, didn't it? But you still, you know what I mean. You get my point, yeah. You're just a Superman. It's definitely good. Yeah, I've, I've got some lives to save after this. You know what I mean? I've got some worlds to uh, conquer and save, and you know humanity to look after. I'm you just, just smashed smash it. Smashed it and yeah. have a burger. That's what yeah. I'm gonna do. Okay, so what else we got on there? Best reviewer. Seven vapors. <laughs> No, well, it... <laughs> there are a lot out there um, that I like. Do you know what I mean? I do like. I like vaping with twisted. That guy's as funny as fuck. Do you mm. know what I mean? He's got a lot of soul. You know what I'm saying? He's pretty cool. Um, you can't deny Todd. Um, you can't. He's fucking very good at what he yeah, does. He is. Um, when I first started vaping, he was the man. He's I a grandmaster. He's he really? a grandmaster. He knows exactly what he's on about. He's very educational. Um, he, he, he tinkers with everything before he even reviews it, so he knows the ins and outs. Very helpful, um, very informative, and uh, a nice bloke as yeah, well. Yeah, um, Scott Bonner. Who don't like Scott though? Let's hey. Who don't like Scott? Hello, my name's Scott. <laughs> It's great, you know what I mean? But his videos are bang on, you know, the... the, the straight to the point. Straight yeah. to the point, but it looks so great. It's so well done, do you know what I mean? It is to the point, no... I mean, we piss fart about you know, eating crackers and arm wrestling and things like that. Dressing like this. Ad <laughs> addressing like a couple of cunts. Oh, can I say that? I've said it. Um, do you know what I mean? But... You know, Scott is. You want to know something? You mm. just want to the, the device, the atty. You just want to know that you can't be bothered looking at a couple of idiots, but Miss Piss fighting about <laughs> Scott Bonner is bang on. There are so many out there. Um, so yeah, it's pretty hard. It's a, it's a toss up between them two. I'm gonna have to stick to them. I know they they're the daddies. You know, Todd and Scott, they're the daddies. We wouldn't be sitting here now if it weren't for guys like that. So, yeah, exactly. Uh, big up to them. You know. Yeah, I mean? and uh, Phil Sado when he did the piece of shit, we did the cock, and then he did the piece of shit. We did the doctor now right? and then um, yeah Pisado Pete Pisado I mean how can you not love Pete you know what I mean hi guys Pete Pisado <laughs> you know he's very he's excited isn't he do you know what I mean he's uh, he loves what he does um, and, and he's, he's a good guy do you know what I mean um, okay uh, best forum <sighs> wow that's a toughie we've well, got to say UKV um, for everything it fits everything um, well, it doesn't. They don't like clones. It doesn't. They don't, they don't like clones. If you're going to go for best forum that does everything, you've got to say Paleo TV. You've got Planet to say Planet of the, Planet of the Vapes. Vapes because they allow everything and anything on there. Um, you know, you can talk about clones. You can stick your clone reviews up on there. People are very friendly on there. Um, not that they're not on UKV, uh, but uh, UKV is a it's very more structured and it's very more formal. And I love it. I'm always on UKV. I love the guys on there. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's a toss up between them two. Um, yeah, definitely. for me, I do love UKV though, uh, through and through, um, because those guys, you know, I mean, they are very heavily into yeah. their 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 vaping. They're yeah. heavily into their gear. They're heavily into um, championing championing the uh, cause. Um, there's always great information on there. So if you're not already a member of UKV. Sign up, but don't try to fucking buy anything straight away or trade on there. Get involved in the forum because uh, they don't like it. <laughs> you know, I mean, you got to contribute to the forum, which is, is understandable, really. Yeah. 
Um, I tell you what else though. Going back to the reviewers, I, we forgot to mention Vapor Trails TV because mm. they do a lot of good stuff for the vaping community. Really, really good for the vaping yeah. community. Uh, putting it out there, obviously updates about the EU and the banning of it at the minute. I know it's a bit of a downer, mm. but Vapor Trails TV also need a, good, a big shout out for them because they do a lot of good work. Yeah. So thanks guys for keeping up with the vape community yeah. and doing a lot for us. Yeah. Best budget mod. Budget mod. Budget, whoa, it's tough. That is really, really tough. It depends Depends what the budget is. Okay, best mod, under 50 quid. Best mod under 50 quid? Wow, how many mods do you know under 50 quid? Well, I know there's a Brass Nemesis clone. (laughs) That's pretty good. Okay, then, if we're going back to code, under 50 quid, yeah, Brass Nemesis clone, or, um, what did we not like this year? What did we not like? We're doing best of, but what I didn't like, like I didn't like the Bulldog Basic. I thought it was a pile of tut, personally. <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen. There's a new version out. There's a V2, um, which which Todd did do a review on, and he was actually happy with that one. He didn't like the first one either. But you got that Bulldog Basic. I think it was the first thing we reviewed. Yeah, well, I was very and disappointed. I, I, thought it was a, I thought it was a pile of piss. Yeah, really. Um, very the button on it was like a washer, wasn't it? It was crunchy. Um, it turned up with with machine scratches. Marks and scratches on. So I wasn't too happy with that. But there is a V2 out there. I'm not slating it. You know what I mean? Laney or whatever, you know, God love you. Um, but I wasn't too happy with that, you know. Yeah. Definitely for a clone, if, if you're on about clones under 50 quid, definitely got to be the nemesis mm. all day long. Yeah, and, and it's for its popularity, you know, everyone's getting one. But apart from this hammer clone that people are, are mm. picking up so far, we have got one on the way. I'm not too keen on pipe mods, and, and that's basically what it is at the end of the day. Um, but I think you'll probably like it. A oh, lot, yeah, yeah. You know? like the only thought is for hammer, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Thought is hammer. I do like that. Um, let's go for worst mod of the year. Are we saying Delaney? For me, that we've reviewed really. Cause, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think it was Delaney. I think it was. I think it was the Bulldog Basic for me. But that was the V1. I haven't tried the V2 yet, mm. so I don't know what improvements mm. have been made. But yeah, I, I wasn't too happy with that. Best budget rebuildable. At, at it. <laughs> Type one GT, thirty pound. You can't go wrong. Or you know, once again, though, you've got those K Fun clones from the H Pro from Colonel mm. Vapes. Colonel uh, Vapes, they were great. You know, <coughs> same as the Squake clone. Same as the Squake clone. I, I see that we uh, had a little message from um, Christian from Stackquam um, underneath our Squake uh, clone Sorry. review. Uh, well, I would review anything and. Um, he cleared up a few things um, for me that the uh, the coating was an e-metal, but it was like a cheaper e-metal um, stuff like that, um, you know. But it's still it's still a good clone. Um, and by the way, Christian, no, the Pyrex tank hasn't been leaking, um, so you know it's it's been it's been great so mm. far. But wait and see. Like I said, we only had it a week or two. We'll wait and see if that starts leaking. But at the moment, that's fine. That's a good clone. The uh, the scrape. It's yeah. uh, compared to the original, you know, and it's what thirty six ninety nine. And it looks like a rocket ship. <laughs> How can you not like that? Looks like a fucking rocket ship. Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Yeah? Got your chairs creaky, son, isn't it? Sorry. It's a Hulk smash. You can sing it over here like Bubbly. Let's yeah, get him on that's stage. Mate, you know what I mean? Okay, anything else? What have we missed? I don't know. Let's talk about Vape Fest. What, the one we went to? The one we went to. Well, I don't really remember a lot of it because I was pissed out of my face. <laughs> I basically stood in the queue at Vape Fest, which was great. We got there quite early. I think we got there for about nine o'clock. You? Half past six. Half past six. He wanted free juice, didn't he? He wanted that bag of free juice. <laughs> and guess what I did with it? I give it away because, you know, safe for we give stuff away. Yeah, right. <laughs> I give it away. I gave away a nine metre once. Um, <laughs> We, we promise to do more giveaways in the new year. We promise to do more now. I'm just a stingy git. You know, I mean, I've got five fucking kids. So, uh, four at home. So, um, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's fucking unreal. Um, and I'm a greedy bastard. <laughs> no, um, yeah, uh, but Fake Fest. Oh, it was it was cold. It was cold. Um, it was expensive. Oh, you could have spent thousands. Yeah, and I, I didn't like the fact that I had to buy them tickets before I could get a pint. Yeah, no, that, this if if anybody from Vetfest organises this year, if you organised it for 2014, 
We want beer. Yeah. We don't want to queue for you tickets. You did a fantastic job. You know, they did a fantastic job. There was there must have been there's thousands oh, of people that went there. Went through, been, yeah. Three or four to five thousand people went through it during that day. But we basically just found a table in the big tent and just sat there throughout the entire day getting drunk and vaping. Um so that was great. Oh, you know we met what some I mean? really cool people. Met as some well. really cool people. I put that mask yeah, thing on. Menthol mask. Yeah, and I, I did I did about <laughs> forty three seconds. Forty three seconds. The record is seventy five. I will beat that next time. <laughs> if somebody would have counted for me because it felt like a lot longer in that mask you know you basically what you had this gas mask on and they fed your menthol this strong menthol through the mask and you had to stay in this mask for as long as you could and I did 43 seconds which was uh, good. which was quite impressive and I did that twice and it yeah. was both 43 yeah, seconds yeah, yeah. both times so uh, you know that was fun I enjoyed that um, yeah vape fest was really cool some great uh, great vendors there some great people there Great atmosphere, really oh, nice. Oh, really good. Um, so hopefully, if, please God, if there's a 2014, we're definitely going. Yeah, yeah. Oh, without a doubt, we'll have that safe of Epitable. We'll just get yeah, drunk. If you want to come see drunk. us, get drunk. Just get drunk. Yeah, that's, that's what we're there for. Perfect. Drunk and vape. <laughs> like a drape. You know what I mean? <laughs> a drape session. And Gary Dibley did some amazing stuff as well, yeah. selling it for children in need as well. Did it a bit Brilliant festival. raffle there, yeah. some top prizes. You know what I mean? You see some You see some uh, well-known people. We even, I think we saw the Vapor Mists there, didn't we? Is that them? You know, I mean, the husband and wife. Yeah, uh, yeah, we did, yeah. And they were sat close to us. Oh, so we, did, we didn't see many familiar faces, but everybody we did, did see, it was a great atmosphere. There was nothing, you know, bad going on. Everything was brilliant. Yeah. It was brilliant. It was a, a great weekend. Yeah, it really was. It really was good fun. Yeah, we enjoyed that a lot. And, so uh, we want a Vitefest 14. Yeah, that'd be nice, you know. Um, and we want us on safe Vape table. Yeah. <laughs> We don't want to never want much, do we? Vape Pit got one, why can't we have one? Uh, well, we are the Vape Pit, aren't we? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I mean, 2013, it's been a good year. It's been a great year for me. I mean, um, I'm uh, January the 1st, so tomorrow, it will be exactly 12 months for me that um, I have quit smoking and uh, been vaping. So uh, that's something to celebrate. Um, you know, 2013 has been the uh, beginning of an era, oh, really. Yeah. You know, I mean, we've only been reviewing since September. So uh, hopefully 2014 we'll be able to... Uh, rip it up and get a lot more in um, and do a lot more reviews of the stuff that you want to see, of the stuff that I want to see and of the stuff that he wants to see. Um, you know, give me out of it. That's it. Um, it's going to be a good year. We promise to uh, do what we can and uh, still bring you a lot of fun and uh, cheery uh, videos. So um, yeah, please keep uh, subscribing and please keep watching. Yeah, because we're doing a few at the end of the day, we're not, we only have one doing a what cracker you, challenge. What do you mean? Yeah, we're, we're well, going to we... try and come up with more challenges. If you've got some challenges, <laughs> stick them in the comments, oh. let us know. You have know you what I mean? Scott Bonner? Somebody said that we should have Scott Bonner as a special guest. We'll try to do this at Vape Fest. Did he goes to Vape Fest and do the cinnamon challenge? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, but then we're going to end up pulling them faces, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can You don't like cinnamon juice though. So if somebody can make a cinnamon juice as powerful as the cinnamon challenge, we'll do that instead. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Do you know what I mean? Whatever you've got. So, uh, yeah, if you come up with some challenges, let us know and we'll try some of them out. Do you know what I mean? But um, we're going to keep doing these little little gags and that because we enjoy it. You know mm. what I mean? We have a bit of a giggle doing it. Of course we do. So, uh, yeah. You and know. It's, it's something different compared to, as I said, about Scott and Todd getting straight to the point. That if that's what you like watching, we love watching them because we learn a lot from them. But obviously we just do it for shits and giggles. <laughs> yeah, we're not having a laugh. We're sort of silly buggers, you know what I mean? <laughs> but um, there you go too, guys, if you really want to know the ins and outs of everything. You know what I mean? We don't profess to be uh, anything like that. We we will review what we like um, and uh, I'll probably end up just having a go at things. And... <laughs> He ends up laughing at it, you know. That's um, but uh, yeah, they're, they're top guys. I, I've really enjoyed mm. this year. 2013 has been the year of the vape for me. So let's hope 2014 uh, knocks its dick into the dirt and uh, really fucking pulls forward. Well, hopefully we're going to see some amazing gear come oh, out, yeah. um, some amazing new vendors um, and and all things. More events, you know. Um, hopefully something around my manner, which is great, so I don't have to go too far, um, you know. And and just keep pushing, mm. keep vaping, and and, and keep fucking fighting the good fight you know what I yeah mean? support that support your community because at the end of the day for me this year as Damien said the vaping is the year but for me community wise has been absolutely brilliant and staying together as a vaping community vaping yeah we all like smokers at the end of the day but we all love good vape and we all you know having a good piss up having a good vape and just having a giggle let's just be honest so community has been brilliant for me this year absolutely yeah. brilliant so yeah so have a great New Year's Eve do you know what I mean really 
fucking party it out. Have a good time, do you know what I mean? And we'll see you uh, next week, probably. And, uh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Once we've got over our hangovers and uh, dressed more appropriately. Mm. So, uh, on that note, I'd like to raise a drink to you guys. And say thank you very much for a great 2013. Cheers. We'll see you on the next one. Stay safe.